Gems and welcome back to the Little Gems of Baha channel. This week's virtue is unity. Unity is seeing everyone and everything as being connected. It's recognizing that we're all united as creations of God. Unity helps people live in harmony with each other and the world around them. Practicing unity means you value everyone and their part and acknowledge that everyone's contributions help make the whole. So this week, let's practice unity. I can't wait to hear all about the ways you practice this wonderful virtue in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload. Now pay close attention to the following story and I'll have some questions for you guys at the end. Many people came to see Abdul Baha. Some of the people were rich or important, some were poor. Once a group of English people who were on holiday knocked on his door. Abdul Baha welcomed them all. One day an Arab gentleman came to the house. A little while later, another Arab gentleman arrived. When they saw each other, they became angry because they did not like each other. Abdul Baha told them funny stories and they began to laugh. He also told them serious stories and they listened thoughtfully. My home is the home of peace, said Abdul Baha. My home is the home of joy and delight. My home is the home of laughter. Whoever enters through the portals of this home must go out with gladsome heart. He told them to embrace one another and he fetched sweets and two silk handkerchiefs to give them. Is it not much better to be friends than enemies? Abdul Baha asked them. It seems God directed our steps to your home this morning, they said. As they left the house, the best of friends. Alright little gems, I hope you enjoyed that story. Now we've reached a part of the video where I ask you questions about the story we just heard. So you can pause after each question to answer and then unpause to hear the answer. So let's begin. Question number one. What happened when the Arab gentleman saw the other Arab gentleman walk in? If you said they became angry because they hated each other, then you would be correct. Question number two. Did the Arab men like each other? No, unfortunately, they did not like each other. Question number three. What did Abdul Baha do to cheer up these men? Abdul Baha did what he does best. He told them jokes to make them laugh and he told them some serious stories too to make them think thoughtfully. Question number four. Abdul Baha said, my home is the home of what? My home is a home of peace. Question number five. Abdul Baha said, my home is a home of joy and what? Abdul Baha said, my home is the home of joy and delight. Question number six. Abdul Baha said, 
Whoever enters this home must leave with what kind of heart? A gladsome heart, he said. Question number seven. Abdul Baha told the Arab men to hug and he went to get what? He went to get sweets and two silk handkerchiefs. Abdul Baha just loved sweets. Question number eight. It seemed that God directed the steps of the Arab men to where? It seemed that God guided their steps to the house of Abdul Baha. Question number nine. The Arab men arrived to Abdul Baha's home as enemies and left as what? All right, little gems, if you answered that they left as best friends, then you would be absolutely correct. And that is it for our story this week. You see, when Abdul Baha realized that the two men didn't like each other, he decided to replace anger and hate with love and laughter by telling them jokes and changing the mood and eventually uniting their hearts. I hope you take the time to practice unity this week within your family and community. And even when you go outside in nature, look and see how everything is so connected. All right, little gems, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time with another story. Bye, little gems.